cities made within the 1800s. This video and showcase locations are what may help explain the existence of the 1878 panorama shot of San Francisco. A drawn map illustrating Seattle in 1889 was created by a mining and real estate brokers and auctioneers named Llewellyn, Dodge and Company. As is the case with San Francisco, Seattle is looking impressively complete for its period. The illustration even highlights key buildings along its edge, as if to entice people in a way of luring potential buyers to visualize what it is they will inherit when purchasing this package city deal. John gives further examples of many similarly styled advertisements for other cities within this video. And while reviewing the illustrations, he rightfully marvels at the precision of each city block and street. For a people without power tools and without the laser measurement techniques which we have today, they sure did a premium job. They did so well, in fact, that we continue to benefit from their layouts within our modern times and see no reason to correct their symmetry. However, when we do walk these old city streets, there are details that seem to be an odd choice. Within Geo Mancy's video titled, America is the Old World, Reset Observations and Explorations Part 2, he showcases on the ground footage from many locations within the US, all across America, Britain, Europe, and the world. You will find windows going below street level. This is the main source for people's belief in the mud flood. An event caused the earth and water, creating mud, to be spilled out across the continents. The people who came to inherit after this cataclysm then reformed from the level that they were now stuck with. Windows were dug out to allow for light, but many others were bricked up, leaving the obvious evidence of an arch. Bridges whose details seemingly sink and continue into a hill does not make sense. Form follows function, and if it was never intended to be seen, then why did the people of old put so much effort into it? When conducting this research, you will come across photographs of city streets whose buildings continue to go down into the earth. These buried segments feature doorways and windows as if they once went out into a now non-existent street level. To return to a bird's eye view of these city streets, again we are reminded that form follows function. So exactly what was the intended function? The answer is in the word electricity. In Geo Mancy's video titled Philadelphia, a city layout based on the Kabbalistic tree of life. He points out how the word electricity cannot be complete without the word city. When viewing any city from a bird's eye perspective, they very much resemble a circuit board. A printed circuit board, commonly referred to as a PCB, is used in almost all electronic products. They serve to transfer, transform, and to maintain electrical current. We, as humans, are beings who survive via electrical currents. Electricity is required for the nervous system to send signals throughout the body and to the brain, making it possible for us to move, think, and feel. As is pointed out by the previously mentioned Geomancy's video, Philadelphia.